hi guys welcome back to my channel as always my name is Bemi Bemi Ade and welcome back to unwind with Bemi A <laughs> if this is your first time please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you're notified every time that I post that's my doorbell sorry about that guys okay going on i would like to say a very 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 big thank you um on behalf of myself and for and um, for the love on our previous post to us it was just listen we've, we've gone through this process let's get this information out there and even if it's one person that we can help our job is done do you know what i mean but um loads of people have come back to us with such good comments um you know just telling us that they've also been in the same situation where they, they know there's something up but they just don't know the correct information and yeah it's out there now um as i said people already come back to me already came back to me with questions but if you guys have any other questions you can email me or follow my instagram and dm me there i'm always happy to help okay guys so this video is actually a vlog it's my first vlog and it was basically when we realized that okay this was happening i picked up my camera and i started recording it mainly for myself at the time and you'll notice that the first few videos were recorded with my snapchat so i'll record and save for my purposes because i just like to keep things and i thought why not you know take our clips here and there put it together and also show it to you guys there's no like information i'll say it's just a matter of us going up and down getting our towels going to solicitor's office you know we, we, we things started to pick up basically from the point where we paid our deposit that's when i started recording from um so that's what you guys are going to watch however before that there were three points that we forgot to mention in our previous video Funch slightly touched on one but i felt like um i should say it again so one one big thing is your Revolut. When you go off and you apply for a mortgage, I don't know if you have Revolut. Be careful because they will ask for your statements going back six months. In our case, I just was like, God, take control, because we didn't we didn't know we we're gonna even apply for a mortgage when we did. So it wasn't it wasn't like we had time to like behave and you know. But at the same time, if you're not reckless, like you know, reckless. It shouldn't be a problem but they will ask for um your six months um statement for your revolute um and that's if you have revolute you know what it is it's like you all know what revolute is um, and another thing that i have to say that we found out when we started the process we didn't know prior was whatever lending institution you go with we shopped around a little bit and all of them had it so i think it's something most of them do they have this thing in place where they give you back a percentage of your mortgage or you get six months free it's not free they add it on because you know your mortgage is 35 years so they'll give you that six months where you don't pay your mortgage right from after you close for six months you don't pay your mortgage but it's calculated on over that 35 years but it's 35 years so it's really not that like it isn't making that much of a difference in the grand scheme of things however for you after spending so much that six months of not paying your mortgage is amazing you can either put the money back into your savings or use that money to furnish your house so you have the option to go with either one we took the six months gap because we just thought it would be nice to not have to pay any rent mortgage sorry for the first six months um after closing so that's another amazing thing the third thing was nothing really important but you don't actually get when you use the help to buy scheme and they approve the money you don't get that money paid into your account because you know the way with, with revenue sometimes when they give you money back they put it into your bank account etc even though they have your bank details the money isn't going in there what happens is they give you a code that code is what you then give to the builder you give it to your solicitor this is when this is when things are already coming to you know it's finishing up now so you give that code um to your solicitor and your solicitor will then give it to the builders the builders will then draw down to 10 percent and then your mortgage will send them off the rest and then you bought your house so those three points i just thought i should mention and i feel like the one with the money back and the um money back or no payment for the first six months is absolutely amazing you get to get like a breather and be like oh get it yourself and then back but um yeah i just thought i'll drop those three points in before going into this vlog so again guys this is my very first vlog and it didn't start off as a vlog so please be patient with me and i really hope that you guys enjoy it i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys so this is the very well not the very beginning actually but we're about to pay our deposit for our for our first property and this is just insane today's day is the 22nd of january 2021 um would i thought i'd be buying a house did we think we'd be buying a house at this stage nope but it's happening 
is happening so this is like the proper beginning we've gotten our solicitor we found a house we're about to put our first deposit I need your phone. you need my phone okay hold on for the interruption so um where was i yeah it's happening it's happening so quickly because we started this process in october we kind of started looking into it like playing around with the idea and it's looking as if we're going to have to postpone our wedding again so we're like all right cool let's just push it out like a year again <laughs> but in the meantime let's get a house you know let's have another big thing under our belts because we're going to do that post wedding but since corona has decided to do this rubbish let's focus on something else so yeah the puzzle is about to be paid we have a solicitor and then they've told us we're moving by march but we know covid they're gonna start telling us oh level five you know we can't do this kind of because like it's a brand new property so they're gonna have to like the wirings and electricity water stuff like that and they can't work under level five restrictions so we know it's gonna take a while hi guys good morning so on friday you guys remember we're supposed to pay for our booking deposit but we couldn't because we were actually doing something wrong like i don't know you know when you're using your card reader i don't know we're doing something wrong but we called them this morning and it was our fault but it's done now and our booking deposit is paid wow <sighs> It's insane, like, it, everything is just happening really quickly. But obviously, because of COVID and stuff, things are going to move slowly. We're already, we've been told already by our solicitor that things will pro pro probably move clo um, move slowly. So, um, yeah, it's still exciting, though. So, basically, we have to sign the contract within 28 days. But within that 28 days, we've viewed this house before. But, like, you know, I want to see it again because we've viewed a couple of houses so before that 28 i've told the development people that before the 28 days we want to come and look at the property again just to like you know remember so yeah we're gonna do that but this is so 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 exciting i'm so happy i'm elated yeah i can't wait i can't wait that's finished there doing all the work and i'm just here documenting all the process so anyways guys oh it's gonna be crazy to put all these videos together but anyways we're more... yeah, actually going to show us our actual house oh my god that's sick that's amazing it's my show house Yay! hey guys oh my god i don't know if i'm going to post these videos because look how crusty i'm looking in all these videos i've been recording in relation to the mortgage but guess what came in this morning our mortgage offer came in this morning and um yeah it's crazy it's happening so basically when they gave it to us in principle um we then used that to find a house so when we found the house now we then had to go back and say okay we're ready so you know that money you promised us in principle can we have it now and then they kind of go through everything again like they'll actually update it pay slips and stuff like that with ours we didn't have any conditions attached so within a week even less i think um they gave us the money so the money is ready now this is the mortgage um the mortgage offer basically i'm i just want to go through it. it's fun she already went through it but i just want to <gasps> throw my eyes across it just to make sure obviously we have a solicitor that's going to go through it in details and like a property solicitor and she's going to um receive her copy of this i believe today as well so today on our to do list is to send her an email so what has happened since the last time i spoke to you guys okay so we have to get our property snagged which means like you get a snagger to go in to make sure everything is as it should be we've been to the property but obviously we're just normal people that house looks okay to me it looks done but obviously it came back to us with like seven pages of things that had to be done and I was like, what? Is this normal? Obviously, this is our first time buying a house. So we don't know what's normal. So I, I told Fudge, listen, let's just ask the guy, is this normal? So we called him and we asked him and he was like, actually, this is less than normal. And then we further asked him that, you know, okay, because he's actually snagged a couple of properties in the development. So we were like, what has been your vibe? Like, what do you think about this development in total, like as a whole with all the, with all the um, snagging that you've done in other 
properties and he was like oh he's actually in the process of buying the house himself and the only reason why he's not buying from our development is simply because it's sold out and like that was really good we we're really happy with that because you know the house is great like you know but when it's your first time you're still like uh, you know but i'm very happy with everything i'm so excited um super spacious and I don't know like it didn't hit me until it was time to draw down the loan like when we actually went back to get the actual mortgage mortgage um well we haven't we haven't done the drawing down yet obviously but when we actually went back to collect their money um i think that was when it hit me that okay this is actually happening like we're actually going to buy our first property so um yeah that's what's happening so far so we've done the snagging they've sent the list back to the builders to fix everything and then we're going to get the snagger to go back to snag again to make sure that everything that's on the list has been done we've been shopping for appliances um obviously it's a new build and there's a deal you can get with them where you get appliances but i'm very particular about the kind of appliances i want in my kitchen especially so, okay in the whole house <laughs> to be honest so we're going to buy our own appliances so we've gone We've done measurements and all of that and then um what else have we done we there's something you have to do as well. going to send a surveyor i think to value the property so we've paid for the valuation i think the valuation was about 150 euros the snag was about 240 euros um so these are just small fees that you have to put into consideration so the valuation is going to happen in and around this week around when the snagging it, they're, they're fixing the, the things that's on the snag list and the only thing we're stuck on now is again because it's a new build the house is literally like when you go into the house the floor is literally like outside <laughs> so we're trying to get like um people to do the tiles and the florence in general but due to level five no one no one's taking jobs at the moment they're waiting for april 5th to see what the new update will be and that's a bit annoying because clearly we cannot live in a house um that's the flooring isn't done everything else in the house is working the heating is working everything is ready to go it's just the flooring um and like getting a bed and you know survival things for now we're just we're just going to move in to survive and then we're going to take our time with the decor and stuff um so yeah that's the only thing that we don't know yet but we're hopeful anyways we we're happy to wait a month after we get the property to get things done which is a bit annoying because we already have a house and we're still going to pay rent in this house but we're happy to give it a month for things to actually move on and then yeah so that's where we are guys and i don't know when else i'm gonna check on you guys again but i'm gonna check in bye hi guys good morning good morning good morning i'm back again um so today is the 11th of march 2021 and we're on we're on our way to the solicitors to go through our mortgage offer and to sign that and i also think we're going to be signing the actual contract of the house I'm not sure but um we're going to run through everything today to actually see how quickly we can complete um so yeah i don't i can't really think of what's going to hold us from completion now because money's ready house is ready um yeah i think we have to wait for the valuation to be done before we can do our home and life insurance and then i think we should be able to close at that point from my understanding anyways but we're going to get a deeper understanding of it today um so yeah guys i'm super excited what am i wearing i'm sure you guys are wearing so i'm wearing this jumper and black jeans boots and it's carrying my bag but um I'm excited to get dressed because it's COVID. I haven't like worn jeans in ages. So in case you're wondering who I might show you guys my outfit, that's because every other time I've checked in with you guys, I was probably just at home in like whatever casual lounge set, whatever lounge set. I wish just random clothes and showing you guys. So today I'm actually all dressed and stuff. I don't have any makeup on because girl, anybody got time for that? But yeah, I'm super 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 duper excited. Um, for she's just gone in to get us something to eat. Um, so the place is about an hour. Or maybe 40 minutes um from where we currently live right now so um we didn't take the day off work we just took some time off this morning so we're going to be back home i'm back working probably by two i should go back to work like after lunch so yeah that's it guys i'll let you guys know how it goes at the solicitors and fingers crossed no surprises everything just goes smoothly please god um yeah check with you guys later bye guys welcome back to the home chronicles so today guys we are out looking for tiles we think we found the one we want 
you think we're leaning towards how do I even listen around now? Oh guys, hmm. I'm gonna show you guys later, but we're leaning towards we found the one we're leaning towards anyway. Babe, it goes with so the idea is all downstairs is going to be tiled, the stairs and all of upstairs going to be rocked. So that's how it goes with the two colours of rocks that we're kind of both leaning towards, like a nice kind of like grayish creamish we can't decide yet so that rug is that the tower is going to work for anyone we decide to go with um so it's unique i've seen a lot of stars i've actually never seen one with that kind of mix so i really really like that we haven't closed yet guys but we think we're going to close next week because we were at the house yesterday the snagger has to go back and forth so when he came back with his list they fixed it went back again so it went twice and then we went to look at things yesterday and everything is good we we're at the house yesterday and we did the so everything is done now and um so we're hoping to get the keys this week by the grace of god so um we've been able to, we're just looking into like flooring blinds um we we're trying to do i didn't like when we went for viewings i didn't like some of the islands that i saw so our kitchen is quite big it's a big size um decent size and so i want to actually like get a carpenter to make the island that i like so we're looking for carpenters and stuff that's what she did all this all morning calling carpenters and just trying to get someone to work for us so um obviously the restrictions are on at the moment but the thing is because we're doing our tiling we think we need to do the island because like they can't tell where the island is going to go so i feel like the carpenter almost has to come in before we can get our flooring guy in so it's a bit of a sticky one but you know what we've got to research everything out for us so it's gonna be fine baby so yeah we're waiting for this guy so he can take our order i think we're gonna put down a deposit just to hold our order yeah. guys so we're walking around one more time just to make sure we're happy with our choices um i'm happy anyway but first we have to walk around these are all boring, baby. You don't see them. So this is where you're No. Should get mats. Not for <laughs> mat tiles, nah. Not, <laughs> not a bit of mate. Baby, I don't like it. Push, I'm not gonna go for that. You already know. <laughs> yeah, this is ours. Yeah, oh, baby. No. Funny enough, Push just spotted it first. Push just spotted it first, and I actually fell in love with it. Why would anybody do that anyway? Baby, you no. Know, tiles are so easy to clean. That's the whole point, I think. I mean, <laughs> my siblings do the cleaning, the one in my parents' house, so. Look at this little fucking kid as I run around and clean. Do it first. <laughs> That's the closest thing we can get to help. <laughs> Not like we know what it feels like to have a help, but yeah. That was a funny joke. So, yeah. So, where are we? We're at right price tiles. Is where we're getting our tiles guys um and the guy we found we found to do the tiles recommended this place to us and guys where we're currently living now it's amazing like honestly even when we're when we're looking for houses i was trying so hard to stay in this town mainly because there's everything when i say everything you're looking for there's everything you're looking for in this area that we live right now like literally when we found the tiles it was three minutes away. like literally our house is down there the um the people that are doing the rug is three minutes away they have an am amazing african store they have all the shops numerous shopping centers like we, oh gosh i'm going to miss this town i'm not gonna lie we tried to stay but the houses that were available at the time like i mean this is the house we're buying we have to like it the area we're going to is actually not far away from here it's about 20 minutes so i was saying to finish that i probably will be coming to my african store here to do my shopping because i already have a vibe with them you know but guys it is what it is though you have to move when it's time to move when god says move you gotta move baby so um it is what it is but yeah right price tiles and wood flooring is where we are they have um different stores in different locations around the country i believe so yeah if you guys wanna so <laughs> do so oh my this guy's taking time he's not done i'm bored this is still about doing your research we already did a lot of research online the minute we came in we already knew what we we're going for and the minute we saw it we bought literally said yes <laughs> so we didn't have to waste time 
Babe, did you take the number of the other towels for the upper body of the kitchen? Or is it going to go with us? All right, okay. Let me show you guys the one we chose for the kitchen. So, the way the developers built, the, the way they built the, the builders built the house, um, I think a lot of houses are built that way. You know, the place above where you're cooking, the wall, that wall on the countertop, the upper part, there's no tiles there. So, it's kind of silly because you know, sometimes when you're even cooking and like pepper splashes up, it needs to touch tiles that can be easily cleaned. So, let me show you the one we're going for. I think this is the one we chose. I can't remember anymore. But I think that's the one we're going to. But these are the options that they have. This would be so funny if it's not for kitchen because we're just thinking this is the one. It would be hilarious if it's for toilets or something. But I think we're going more for this color. It looks different on camera. In real life, it's like a creamy, creamy color, brownish cream. But on camera, it literally looks gray. Wow. Now I see what YouTubers are always saying when they're like, it doesn't look the same. It's literally not this color, guys. I promise you. It's not this color that's coming up at all. It's not great. But um, yeah, these are the options. So the guy is going to come around with us to tell us how many. Also, the, the guy that's doing our tiles is so lovely. He was like, when we come to look at what we want, we can call him and is happy to speak to the people to help us figure out um what we want to go for so oh look at this toilet guys our toilet is actually the one thing that the builders tiles but i don't like it but for now we have to just do what's necessary because guys wedding is still around the corner but covid is holding us down they're saying, they're saying that they're going to postpone the lockdown again our new date was supposed to be in may from August last year to May this year, we moved it, and we don't think May is going to work anymore. So we moved our white wedding. I know, we know we're doing our trad this year. Our initial count was 600 guests. So we were bringing Lagos Island, but COVID said no. And yeah, it is what it is. At the end of the day, like, you know, there's always plenty more reasons to celebrate. I just want to do my traditional wedding. Just my treasure because I, I wanted my treasure wedding. <laughs> like, um, but we can't do, we don't think we're going to be able to do a 600 capacity wedding anymore. Anyways, let me go and find this man. Guys, this guy is not ready at this stage. That's an absolute guy. This is my first time blogging out. And let me not guess myself because there's really nobody here. But I'm really not shy. I just bring out my phone and I'm like, <laughs> is it ready? <laughs> Baby. What happened? It's ready, yeah? It's ready. So we changed the color. Okay, guys, so they're going to do the money part. <laughs> and that's not my. Mm, I'm always scared to hear prices. But, um. What did you say? We. We changed our mind about the kitchen. Fush. What was the kitchen house called? Splash wall. You were calling it a name. Splash tiles. Change it to white because the color we're picking before it was doing too much. This is the first house we're going to own. I'm not just trying to. <laughs> I'm trying to overdo it. Let me just keep it simple and I can, you know, build my house decor skills little by little. But I should probably go back and go and look at this monitor. Hi guys. So we're back in the car now. We're going to the rug place. Um, so this one was towels and wood flooring the rug is what what are they called i don't know rug people but the guy was so nice he gave us like one of our towels he just kind of gave us one because um we have our clothes but we're going to order it when we know it's we're going to be able to deliver it to our house so we're going to find out dates next week so yeah he gave us one of the flooring one of the tiles guys how sweet is that but anyways yeah i'll let you know how we get on when we get to the um rug place guys in the house is not cheap boy we had like ideas of what we thought things would cost and what where we just left was double what we expected double like literally multiply by two what we expected but um it is what it is has to be done it's, it's good to get like good quality and everything first time round so you don't have to be like redoing your house like what two years down the line so um yeah i'll keep you guys posted and i'll let you guys know what 
happens in the real place. Hopefully they're as nice because the towels guy here was super super nice. So hopefully they're as nice as that. Hey guys, we just signed the deed of transfer. How do you feel? Cool. So that's the last document. Now they just have to do like this uh, searches and the land registry shebang. And then we should be getting the keys next week. So yeah. Hi guys, how are you guys doing? So today is the 14th of April, I believe, and we are on our way to get our keys. <laughs> so uh, we officially got the email yesterday from our solicitor that everything is, is now completed and that we should contact, you know, our contact on the development to confirm when we can come and collect the keys which we did and we were told to come down at 11 30 in the morning which is great because it's quite early so i woke up at like 10 <laughs> um because i'm actually out of office at the moment so it's great so we're on our way up now to get the keys and the weather is absolutely like amazing and it's only 11 o'clock in the morning as well so that's good and yeah we're super excited so i might do a quick empty house tour when i get there i'll see how i feel Bye. so i'm going to close out this vlog now i really don't know if i'm going to upload it or not but i do know i've been taking little snippets here and there documents in the process of how we got to this very moment so i'll put it together and i'll see what i can make out of it but i really do hope you guys enjoyed it it's not really it's just you, me showing you guys my experience, basically. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. And, yeah, talk later. Bye. Guys, we're officially in the house and the developers are talking to French. And I'm just like, oh, where is the ready? Just give me my keys. Just give me my keys. I don't want to talk to you no more. We're done. But, um, yeah, um, it's mad. So, I'm currently in the living room right now. And it's a great size, like guys, I'm so happy with it. I'm going to do like a little empty house tour just to show you guys around. Show you guys around, but boo boo. <laughs>